We haven't been there yet. Do this. Let's do this. There's a person there. Oh, hold on. It's an opening right there. Adoy! Can you help me? Adoy! Bertir to mad on all Menawi. English! Why are you dressed like this? Hello. I'm not one of your people. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation. A legate? Is that someone important? Indeed. I'm in charge of diplomatic relationships with other nations. So you'll be able to help me. My chief sent me to trade some items with your village. But there are these bod irony who do not want me to set up shop here. These what? Bod irony. The ironbacks. The warriors who protect this village. Every time I come, they take my items without giving me anything in exchange. Please. I don't understand how things work here. Very well. Stay here. I'll try to clear this up. Adlo radar on all Menawi. English! You should always be sturdy under your footsteps. I speak anguish, man. It might be bad anguish, but I speak anguish. <laughs> Pieces of shit. How come it? Every time I uh, come to the entrance of this place, I get attacked. Hello, How Your Excellency. What, what is that? What can I do for you? I met an islander in the streets who was complaining to me about the guard's behavior. Really? It would seem that patrols have confiscated the goods he was hoping to sell several times. Oh, I see. Indeed, I've been told about this man. The problem, Your Excellency, is that our orders are strict. Merchants who do not have a patent ratified by the minister cannot sell their goods in the street. And since your islander doesn't have one, I doubt he even knows what it is, my men have no choice but to confiscate his knickknacks. I see. Thanks for clarifying that. I'll talk to the minister. Is there anything else? Yeah, do you fucking job properly? No, thank you. Uh, taking the guy's goods, giving the information to help him sell his goods. Am I wrong? This game is such typical fucking human race. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I help you when I can help my fucking self? Am I wrong? Hello? Minister. Your Excellency, it is always an honor. How may I serve you? I would like to talk to you about an islander who is trying to set up shop in our city. Since he doesn't have a patent, his wares get confiscated as soon as he receives them. And you want me to provide him with the said patent? 
I would be delighted to show you the procedure to follow so that we may study his request. You'll understand that we cannot give an authorization without having determined the value of the goods beforehand. We must determine the tax rate according to this value, determine the best emplacement for this business. In short, these things take time. A lot of time. 50% chance to speed up the procedure. I'm certain that my cousin will be delighted to hear that our relations with the natives are progressing in a significant way. And he will probably be very grateful to the minister who helped their first merchant set up shop in our city. Perhaps, Your Excellency. I ought to but our damn. governor wouldn't be pleased if I didn't determine the fitting tax rates. Minister, allow me to insist. Alas, your insistence will not change a thing. I heard your request and it will be processed. It is only a matter of a few months. months. Would you like anything else? A few months for some paperwork. Brother, you stuck in the piss. What exactly is your role here? I am tasked with advising Governor Constantine about business matters. And I make sure that all business contracts are established properly and are favorable to us. I am responsible for setting taxes on goods based on their value, among other things. It is an exciting job that requires the utmost care. Would you like anything else? That'll be Punch you in your head. Goodbye, Your Excellency. I'd sooner set sail in a storm than try and convince this old fool. Any ideas how to change his mind? Sir de Corsillion knows all the subtleties of courtiers. He'll know how to convince him. Mm. Says again. We're in the right place. Yeah. Um, however, I don't think I can go upstairs again out here, can I? Can I go upstairs again from here? No, it seems not. I want to set of stairs through here. Ah, here we go. Sir de Corsillon. The Sade, my young student. What can I do for you? Uh, I would like yeah. to enlist your help in making the Minister of Commercial Affairs see reason. Did our finickety Minister of Paperwork bother you? He refuses to speed up the procedure to create a patent needed by a native merchant. The poor man has already had his wares confiscated several times. Despite the fact that if he were given permission to set up shop in our city, it would certainly improve relations with our neighbors. I'm not surprised. This man really loves to lose himself in writing up pointless paragraphs. Let me write you a recommendation letter. Oh, he'll see yeah. My seal, and I'm certain that he'll become more compliant. Thank you for your help, sir. Don't mention it. Always delighted to help you and to bother this annoying little man. Can your old professor still prove himself useful? Looking forward to seeing you again, Sir de Corsillon. Did. Now, fucking politics, absolute total fucking dog show. It am I wrong? Boy, okay, Minister, Your Excellency, it is always an honor. Oh, How really? May I serve you? Yes, serve, bitch. Serve. I would like to have another discussion with you about the patent for the merchant whom I told you about. 
As I explained, these things take time. Ah, uh, but I'm yeah. listening. Uh. Sir de Cossillion was kind enough to give me a letter addressed to you. A letter of recommendation, I suppose. <sighs> I see. I have no other choice but to accept your request. But I hope all merchants will not make use of the same special favors. Here's the patent that will allow your protege to legally pursue his activity in the city. You should give him this copy. The other one will be kept in the archives. However, one of my representatives will visit his stall for the estimation and to determine the tax rate in accordance with the... Thanks a lot, Minister. Looking forward to seeing you again. Would you like anything else? Punch you in the nose? Goodbye, Your Excellency. Can I punch you in the nose? That'd be good. That would serve me quite well. Fucking politics. Poor man just wants to make a bit of fucking money. And you're making it so fucking hard for him. I've run the wrong way. Of course. Why would I run the right way? Indeed. You came back. Something terrible happened. What is it? I was just bringing you the patent you needed to set up shop. The Bod Irony came back and they took my cousin away. He came to what? bring us animal pelts and new objects from the village. But the warriors came back. They took everything he was bringing me. And they also took him. Oh, I don't know what they will do with him. Please. Bring him back to me. I don't Yo, see why you would have arrested your cousin, but I'll try to find out. These guards are well fucking dickheads. What the fuck? Just sort it out. It sorted it out for him. Gets his cousin kidnapped by the guards and taken a fucking way, and all the fucking stock he was just getting. Like what the fuck? Yo, Hello, release him. What can I do for you? I've come to see you again to talk about the Islander merchant. I managed to obtain a license for him, but he informed me that while I was taking care of this, his cousin, who was making a delivery for him, was arrested. I'm sorry, Your Excellency. Especially considering you've managed to obtain an official authorization for him. I'm afraid my men ran out of patience when they saw this hunter making deliveries for the merchant again. They wanted to confiscate his cargo, but the lad resisted, and he was thrown in jail for disorderly conduct. If you want to set him free, that's where you must go. Sorry, again, Your Excellency. I should have known you'd managed to obtain the necessary license for your protege and told the patrol. Is there anything else? Yeah, you fucking should have done your bastard no, job you. again. Oh, look, DJ with the hydrate. Thanks for the uh, hydrate, DJ. So, DJ, how's your week going? How is your week so far? Oh, wait, it's in there. <laughs> Whoops. Whoopsies. Do downstairs. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Hello. Wait. Hello. Not bad. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a prisoner. A native who should have been brought here recently. You're a bit late. He was sent to fight in the arena. In what? the arena? So this man was judged? Who pronounced the sentence? Whoa there. 
Do you really think that we would organize a proper trial for a savage? He attacked some <laughs> guards. He's lucky he won't gun down right there and then. At least in the arena, he has a chance of survival since apparently he's a hunter. This man was only defending the goods he was bringing to his cousin. And now he has to fight for his life. I have no hand in this. I'm not the one who made this decision. They brought him here and then they took him away, that's all. What did you do with the goods he had with him? They got confiscated, put in the storeroom like all the rest. Anything else? Yeah, get them all fucking out and give them back you. to the merchant. You fucking knob. Oh my god. Are you actually fucking serious? Oh my fucking lord. Can't do their fucking job. What fucking use are these people? Hello? Oh, this sun is dark. Holy shit. Forget light, is any air getting in there? Oh, damn hell. This game is fucked up. This game is well fucked up. Where's the arena? We need to help this man. Put in the arena for just bringing some goods to his cousin. What the fuck? That's messed up. Welcome to the arena. Is this your first time? It is. Excellent. The crowd just loves to see new faces. So, are you ready to rise to the challenge? Or would you like a little reminder of the rules before jumping in? Unless, of course, you're just here to go over the basics and get in some practice. I wish to fight alongside the island hunter that was captured. Really? You'd have to go in alone. Your friends will need to stay in the stands. Are you sure that this prisoner is worth risking your life for? Uh, yeah. This man has been the victim of terrible injustice. I cannot stand aside without doing anything. Oh, that's extremely noble of you. But it's just the sort of crazy idea that the crowd loves. <laughs> I have to warn you, though. If you want to fight now, you will lose your bonus in the running challenges. So, will it be? Justice cannot wait. I am ready to fight. Excellent. In that case, the arena awaits you. Well, I didn't think we'd have to fucking fight. Holy shit balls. Now, oh, good day, and what it is excellent. So, unless, uh, yeah, we already done this. I wish to fight. Really? Are you sure? This man, uh, I have justice cannot. Ex
Oh, I used the potion, my bad. I didn't mean to move the potion. Come on, big Yeah, he's alive. What a show. You've won the affections of the crowd. And when the crowd makes a decision, it gets what it wants. You're free, prisoner. I owe you my life, on old Manawi. Blessed be the winds that have blown you to my side. By what name should I address you? My name is Jasade. In fact, it's your cousin the merchant that sent me. Follow me. Let's go and find him. Holy fucking shit. That was kind of nuts. Got all the stuff back. We got his cousin back. This is all good. Ah, on old Menawi. Oh, I'm glad to see you again. Oi, oh, Ven. Oh, I'm so glad to see you alive. Then you must thank this on old Menawi. He fought to save me. Thank you. May the grass always be soft beneath your feet. Don't mention it. I also brought you back your goods. May the trees always bear you fruit. We owe you a lot. You should go see Ulan, the chief of Vignamri, my village. He wants to be friends with the Renaigse. Since you are a legate, you could talk to him. Very good. There we go. Joy that problem out. I wonder if he was treated like that. I just wanted to sell some stuff, man. What the fuck? Hey. Got a couple of quests. I will go for that one. Probably should have used a camp to travel. Oh, wait, actually. I ain't not have traveled there before. Hello. I'm music on. Oh, really? Fuck off. Bunch of dickheads. Your gun is probably one of your most useful weapons in this game. I'm not gonna lie. Probably your most useful weapon. Take down their armor. Stun some enemies. Knock some enemies back. It's probably your most useful weapon. You should always have ammo for it. But ammo seems very scarce. I mean, you can craft it if you've got the right skills. In there. 
You trust me? Head this way then, and then head in. Anything useful? It doesn't seem to. It seems like there's a full year to you turn all the way around. Trees. Let's see if you can ward off this faint. Aha, come from behind. another one of them I have not got the ammunition for that I have not got the ammunition for that and you want me to fight them as well Those guys are a bit, a bit tough, weren't they? Was my save point at that camp? I hope so. Hey, what? Still can't make bullets, can I? No, science level two. Damn. I'm not far from level you Oh, excuse me. Head around these guys. <laughs> 